Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to talk a little bit about RNS stereochemistry. Um, in this video I'm assuming that you already know how to uh, assign priorities uh, just for time's sake to keep the video short. Um, if you don't know how to assign priorities um, I'll have another video um, regarding that. Um, but for this video I'm just going to show how to mechanically um, label a molecule RRS. Um, so you you'll only come across three different types of problems, and that that it's gonna have the four, and it all depends on the fourth group. Um, this first example, as you see, the fourth group is going um, back into the page as indicated by the dashed line, and the second one, the fourth group is coming out of the page, which is indicated by uh, the wedge, and in the third type. The fourth group is going into the plane, which is indicated just by a straight line. Um, those are the three types that you'll see. Um, there's never going to be something different than that. It's either going to be coming out, going in, or into the into the plane. Um, that's regard to the fourth group. So, um, get started on the first one. Um, I already have these molecules out and labeled. Uh, the groups on them. So you'll see in this first one that I have the fourth group going out of the going into the page rather. The fourth group is going in and whenever that occurs um, this is the way you do your RNS. What you do is you make a, a curved line from your first priority group going to your, going through your second to your third and depending on the direction of that um, if it's clockwise, it'll be R, and if it's counterclockwise, um, it will be S. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so right here, I'm going to go from 1 to 2 to 3, make a curved line, and as you see, this is going this is going clockwise, and clock if it's going clockwise, it is R. So whenever you're dealing with a fourth group going into the back of the page, you draw your curved line, and whatever stereochemistry you find with that curved line is the stereochemistry you keep. Um, that's in contrast to the second example I have, where the fourth group is actually coming out of the page, uh, which is indicated by the wedge line. Um, what you do with that is um, you, still, you still make your curved line going from 1 to 2 to 3. So I go from 1 to 2 to 3 and um, that would indicate the same thing I'd have it's going clockwise so it would be R but when the when the fourth substituent or the fourth priority is um, coming out at you you switch whatever uh, stereochemistry you had um, so this was this was R but since it's coming out, we'll we'll switch it, um, and it's actually S. So whenever it's coming out towards you, you go ahead and make your first curved line from one, two to three, and whatever stereochemistry that is, you switch it, um, and that's just mechanically how you have to do it. Um, traditionally, what you do is you look down the fourth group and you uh, you rotate the molecule to put the fourth group behind you, and it's just it's much more difficult for students to grasp that because you're dealing with 3D objects and just placing them in your mind so this is just a way that we can compensate for not doing that so um, whenever it's out coming out to you you draw your you draw your first curved line from 1, 2 to 3 and then whatever stereochemistry that is you switch it um, moving on to the next example um, that's when the fourth group is in the plane and that is definitely the most trickiest um, but with practice it, it's not difficult um, so what you do is <clears throat> it's kind of lengthy but you what you have to do is you, you take the fourth group you can switch it with either the with either group that's going into the page or the group that's in the plane um, you switch it with those, then you draw your curved line going from 1 
two to three and whatever stereochemistry that is you're going to reverse it um, so let me do that for this one so our fourth group is up here um, I'm going to switch it with this third group that's going into the plane so I'll have this carbon I'm going to put the third group up here I'll keep the fourth group over here I'll have the second group coming out and I'll have that first group going back now I do my, my I draw my curved line I'll go one two three that would that would that would be s but then I have to switch it and it would be R um, and that's known as the single swap method um, but remember to always um, when you're switching that fourth group that's in the plane switch it to the other group that's in the plane or that's going into the page um, don't switch it with the one that's coming out because that will not work all the time um, so yeah that's basically it um, remember if, if the, if the uh, fourth group is going into the page go ahead and draw your curved line and keep it that stereochemistry if your fourth group is coming out draw your curved line then switch the stereochemistry and if your fourth group is going into the page uh, I'm sorry is in the plane of the page um, do the single swap uh, switch it for one that's going into the page or that's in the plane uh, draw your line and then change that stereochemistry reverse that stereochemistry um, that's basically it um, good luck with uh, R&S.